Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Saturday Night Movies, where friends get together and review the movie of the week. This week's pick was Lisa's. Tell us what you picked and why you picked it. Well, um, if anyone recalls, last November for family-themed month, because we're in November, um, Katie picked Adam Family Values, so I wanted to carry on the tradition, and I'm starting off this month with the Adams Family cartoon animation that came out in 2019 and you know I'm, I'm a sucker for the Adams family um and I've been wanting to watch this so that's why I picked it it's our tradition and maybe uh 2022 20, November you can pick an Adams family perhaps I'll maybe. probably pick it <laughs> <laughs> but um I want to surprise you I actually watched the trailer for this one because I was kind of oh. curious. Um, so reading the description, I went out of the five because, you know, remakes kind of get me. You never know. Like, majority of the time, I'm, I'm not amused. Um, so I went out of five. And the trailer, I actually went out of six because it seemed a little bit interesting, um, to say the least. I had it on. He looked down. So he didn't watch the trailer, but he did hear some stuff. So... Because I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch the trailer. <laughs> Don't want to be surprised. Yeah. I feel like Did you watch the trailer are... after it, at least? That's no. what you should do. You should watch the trailers after the movie and then figure out what if it ruined the movie for you or what if it not. That's okay. Yeah, that's what you should do. I've suggested that to him. But you just only show And he's like, after no. the movie, it's like, I've heard it. Yeah, care. like, she always like, slams on. it. But, <laughs> Lame! Um, well, I went in at a six because I am a fan of animated movies, and while the Adams Family, you know, I can give it or take, take it or leave it. Um, I thought that, I thought that it would be above just being neutral, so I went in kind of optimistic at a six. What about you, Katie? Well, for the description, I get I gave it a zero. And my note was, it literally told me nothing about the movie. Zero. <laughs> it literally, it did not tell me. It's, it was just like, just yeah, it was family animation. Okay, well, that doesn't tell me what the movie's about. Um, and then I watched the trailer, and I gave it an even five. Because... Well, remakes. <laughs> no, not remakes. Just the, the way they made, like... The characters look like Gomez was cute in the Adams family values. The cartoon makes him look like a little fat pig. Well, but well, what did I but what did I say to you before watching it? This I never not, saw the original. You can cartoons. look it up. The well, it's not even just a cartoon, like you mean from the New Yorker when they yeah. this is all based off of the original drawings from Adams in the New Yorker. That's why he looked like a weird, squatty little man. She was like very tall and very skinny, you know. So that's why I was like, I feel like before she watches this, I need to preface this to her so that she understands where they I were still going. didn't like it though. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, <no. laughs> all right, well, count us down. Okay, in three, two, one, show your numbers. Yay! I gave it an eight. I gave it an eight. I gave it a seven. Wait, so let's see your drawing eight. again. I don't know if you can see. Yes, that. you can. Where, which way do I move <laughs> no, it? No, you're good. You're oh, good. Oh, okay. You're good. good. With his bomb making. <laughs> um, I thought you know I I was pleasantly surprised by it, and I really enjoyed a lot of this film. Like I I only have like a couple cons, nothing mm -hmm. a lot. So I. My biggest pro that I wrote down was they are getting so good at animation and CGI that I legitimately thought, like, when it did the panning of the street, that that looked like an actual street. Mm -hmm. Hair looked actual like actual hair. Fabric looked like fabric. Everything seemed so real. But then you got the fucking characters, and you're just like, okay, so there's a walking twig, a pig boy and a bubble head for our daughter. But I do like the fact that her pigtails were in nooses. Yeah, they're cute. I love the Adams family. Like as a kid, I wanted to be like Wednesday Adams. Cause I always loved everything morbid and weird. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, so looking at the ratings, Internet Movie Database gave it a 5.8 out of 10. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes a 44. And 78 on Google. I think that's a little too low, in my opinion. And I guess on Metacritic, it was 46. So What's Metacritic? I think it's like a Rotten Tomatoes, but it's mostly like critics. But it's like metrics of critics like gathered. Um, but... Yeah, I, I think it was. I think it's an unfair thing. I think this is actually really cute, and I think it. Um, I like the fact that we're getting the original um, Adams family, like and in, inserted because yeah, I grew up. I grew up with two. I grew up with the the Angelica Houston, um, uh, Christina Ricci version, and I used to watch after school on syndication, at kindergarten and first grade. Um, with my cousins, the one from like the sixties. Like see, I never, would, I don't remember ever watching that old black and white. Oh, see, we did because we had, we actually had in my grandma's house in one of the spare rooms. Um, we had a one with the dial where you had to go, ch -ch -ch, and we would watch <laughs> um, three three TV shows. We would watch um, the Adam West Batman. We would watch the Adams Family, and we would watch. Um, there's one more Zorro and yeah. So like this, this to me, I was just excited that it wasn't just like Christina Ricci's version, even though I love her version. Um, I like the throwback and I didn't actually ever look or appreciate at the old um, Adams family uh, drawings until sometime in 2018 when I saw the original uh, prints on display and I was like, Oh, well, that's interesting. And then um, I saw a video on YouTube where somebody did a timeline of all the Adams family since like the New Yorker to this version. And you actually saw the same kind of Wednesday and Pugsley look in the 70s for the cartoons. Because there's like a ton of them. And one of my thing I told him watching that YouTube video, um, I think it sucks that the Munsters doesn't get the, as much... Playtime. See, because that's that's the show I grew up on that was too. the Monsters. Yeah. I absolutely loved that show. Mm -hmm. Like they would play it on uh, Nick TV at Night. night. Yeah, or Nick no, at night. Nick yeah. at Night. Nick at Night. Yeah. And I remember as a kid when Halloween was like it was Halloween Day. They would literally play nothing but the Monsters, and I would watch it like all day and get ready for Halloween and carve pumpkins and. Damn, I missed that show. Do you, I don't know if you remember. Um, in I think it was junior year. It used to you were a sophomore. I think that's because that's when we uh, became friends. I think yes, it was your sophomore year, or it was my senior year. I came to school because you could dress up as a Halloween. I don't know how, but as strict as our school was, our dress code. I have my boobies a little bit up and out. Um, but I came as Lily Munster. I actually had my Shakespeare dress. And I had like a wig, and I showed up as Lily, because I, I love Lily. Oh. oh, okay. What about the music? I thought the music was so much fun throughout the even the end credits, like the like the hip hop type rap. I thought that was so much fun. I love the music. No, no. <gasps> uh, oh. I did not like the rap. My mom even said I like the music except for that rap shit. I loved it. <laughs> I like it was she. Fun. She hated that end rap, and I liked how they did the song, like, da -da -da -da. and like mm -hmm. we saw the progression of him trying the song. I I actually did like that. What it what that was kind of rap was uh was it Snoop Dogg the it yeah when he's like driving <laughs> that was fun. What about you? Did you like anything from this? Um, well, like you were talking about stuff that you grew up with. I grew up with like the Adams Family cartoon um, on Saturdays on Fox. And that was kind of close to the New Yorker um, drawings. Like you did have like a short, a more rounded Gomez. You had Pugsley who had like the really dark circles around his eyes. And so like watching this, I kind of, I kind of like that, that throwback. Um, to that original art style, even though I will say I wasn't a fan of Gomez's voice. Like In this the, one? Yeah, the way that the voice actor did his voice, I wasn't really feeling it too much. But um, as far as like what you talked about, like the music, 
um, I did like how you were saying where you finally get like the theme song in the beginning. Um, with the Lurch. hand with Lurch. Lurch. like nope, yeah. nope. <laughs> and um, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't a fan of that ending of that ending song. Um, That's okay. The but, cheese stands alone. But but like overall, <laughs> like I get I gave it a seven because I I thought it was a, a pretty cool movie. Um, I liked the way it looked. One thing that you mentioned about how good they're getting with like backgrounds. That's one thing that I noticed like when I watched um, Monsters University mm, where yes. it's like the the background, like the water, the trees, it looks so real. And I yeah. guess, you know, I wouldn't want them to make the characters look extra realistic because um, I think maybe it might throw things off, but I just kind of like the contrast between the two. Like you still have animated, but you do have like a sense of realism. So. Um, one thing, like another thing that I really liked was, um, I liked the contrast of where they lived and then that whole assimilation suburb that I thought was interesting where, you know, on the outside appearances, the Adams family are the mean, the scary, the, you know, the morbid, they're the monsters, right? Yeah. But yet the normal society. town it's, yeah society was more scary mm -hmm. you know and i and i liked how they turned her into a hgtv type um martha stewart <laughs> you know type of thing where she was like not only was she like big on the diy home construction she was a mogul you know like she bought an entire community and was selling it off and but she actually was more of the monster. And I also liked that, and I, I have a feeling you're gonna bring up this as a con. Um, I like that we saw Wednesday trying to assimilate into the quote unquote normal. With her hair. With the Where's the hair? hair? Yeah, right, the little with hair the clip. Hair. With the, what was it, the, um, unicorn. the unicorn. But what I liked it about it, is the fact that like we always see it parents that uh, that pride themselves on we're different we let our kids do this and that but then like say the, the child gr grows up in an abnormal uh lifestyle but then they want to do like the normal like stuff. be a cheerleader and be exactly preppy and, and, like, and then the parents go no blah 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 like I thought that was interesting, like the whole like preteen versus um, the mom where she got sad that she didn't show up for the tea party to yeah. like conjure up the, the parents. Yeah. But I and know then, you're gonna bring in something on that. And then um, we, we got it from just like both sides because the preppy mom with the song to assimilate like- <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my god. It's that fun dance. to be just like everyone else. Don't be different. And I was like, no, be like an Adams family. <laughs> but what's interesting is they didn't want to be like them too. Like it's just like it's almost it, it goes to it that just because you think you're different, you're really not. Ah, uh, the Adams family is different. Because I was like the moment <laughs> that one guy, or was it a guy or a girl, it was like, the Adams family's here. And then all of a sudden it pans out and like all the creepy weirdos are walking around. And I was like, I would totally love that as a family. Not the Susie Homemaker, I make everything pretty. It's like, no, no. No. I just wonder is <laughs> are we ever gonna see an Adams family movie where it's not like where that's like not the theme of how do we confront different societies or even so much of uh, Adam's family movie that doesn't like heavily revolve around Wednesday, because I, you know, I know you guys, that's like your favorite character, but it seems like in a lot of the movies, it's like her main story. And to me, it kind of feels like whenever we watch as, as a comic book fan, whenever I have to watch a Spider-Man movie and it's always about uncle Ben dying and Spider-Man's origin story. And it's like, Okay, we, we know the premise of these characters. We know that they're different. We know that, you know, they're kooky and they're zany. Let's let's shift from having to always tell that story and that side of the story, and let's try to have them or, in that world, but, like, doing other stuff where it's not what, just the same theme. What if it was something like this or the whole Spider-Man thing? 
instead of starting out with the day uncle whoever died and spider-man becoming spider-man what if it was like right before that where you get the entire story up until the uncle's death and him changing into spider-man and when he changes into spider-man boom end yeah, I would hate that more because it's like these are already established characters. Like we know their origin. It's like I don't need oh, to see, know. Oh, see, I don't how, know who this uncle shit is. I don't. I, <laughs> like for for instance, like I don't need to know how Bruce Wayne became Batman. We already know he's Batman. Let's see some more of his adventures. As oh, see, to, I, I'd like to see you know, before his life before his he became a superhero, and like with the Adams family when they did the backstory of like Morticia walking. Mm -hmm. that I was, was like that was cool. Yeah. That would have been a cool idea. Like, let's have a movie where they meet, like a full-blown movie, and then they get kicked out. Then it switches to them moving, and then they having they're like married, having kids, traveling. Then maybe they settle down in like a different town, but then that's the end. Like, because I really liked how we saw them get married because when she was walking down the street with the like beheaded roses i was like oh i bet i bet they're gonna get married and then cut, they cut to her walking to a thing and i'm like yep she's getting married and it's like her 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 makeup was like her parents ashes <laughs> just but i thought that, that was, was cool. so cool i i honestly think that this is the one time like all of your wishes actually like a lot of the check boxes were on this are in this movie because we had a good healthy portion of the film of the intro of of morticia and and gomez getting married they 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 get thrown out of town they end up in new jersey they find this <laughs> where no one will know us i laughed new so jersey. hard when i saw it said new jersey but they find this um they we finally got an origin with Lurch. I didn't like his origin. I like oh, his I origin. It's I like he's it. just like a slave now. Like he, he was uh, uh, escaped from like a mental institute. And it's like, okay, now just take the bags. Now you're our butler. And it's like, but he didn't I really have a city. How, but I liked how he like gave him the bags. He's like, thank you, old boy. And then just walked away. Yeah. It's like, damn. <laughs> but the thing is, like, but, but one, what life would have Lurch had? Right, he was. Oh, like, he would have been caught and thrown back. And, in there. Exactly. No, I know, but to be forced to be the servant now, like. True, but the thing, but if you ever think about it, out of all the different platforms of the Adams family, Gomez never is. He has no self aware of his surroundings. He's just kind of like in himself. He's very egotistical, um, but he's also fun at the same time. Like, I think that's kind of like he just he's he's not self aware. Um, but I liked how they go to this house. This house has that ghost. It was like, da -da! then they feed you know? coffee in the, the, in toilet. the toilet. Come on, that was so funny. And then I like the tree that they had because I I want to say I could be wrong, but in the Icar Icarus and like uh, the Ichabod, trees yeah, it, yeah. Like I think I want to say that the tree was in the black and white TV show. I want to say I could be wrong. Um, and I just like the whole play out of everything, you know, and I don't, even though, yes, there is a lot of Wednesday um, elements to this and the trailer was very heavy. Like this is going to be a Wednesday story. I was surprised at how much Pugsley got play because Pugsley never gets play. And he was all. doing that whole the, sword dance. Thing. Yes. Which that is a real dance. The mazooka. The mazooka. Mazurka. Yeah, I, I think it's the Mazooka. Is it Mazurka? Mazurka. Okay. I don't know what it was. I was so just like, it's a Polish dance. I didn't see that there were swords because I was like, is this a real thing? Um, and it's like a cultural dance, but I have a feeling that the Adams just had to like spin it because I want to say in the Adams family and the Adams family values, they did talk about Gomez as being the best Mazooka, Mazurka dancer. Um, See, and he did get a story too because th they said like oh you can't do this dance but what does it mean it means you protect your family so go get him and then he like saved the day with all his bombs and yes. he was able and to I, do the dance finally i did like the song that played while he was doing all that was, yeah and what about the song when like <laughs> lurge was at the piano and then he starts singing and he turns into like what bruno mars i didn't like that <laughs> 
I didn't like that. I liked it. I didn't like it. Well, that's one of my cons, Lurch singing, because he sounds a certain way, and it's like when he was singing, it's like it's not it's Lurch like, It's like the trope where, like, oh, this guy sounds weird, but then he has a beautiful voice. Like, I kind of liked it. Just I thought it was funny that he would have, like, a fun, like a good voice, but then I also thought it was, like, uh, stupid. <laughs> then what's also appreciative is that they, um, they built in not once, but I want to say twice, the whole you rang you know I like and that. i feel like i this film did a really good job of mashing together all of the worlds in my opinion from like the new yorker to before this movie came out like all the virgin versions <laughs> all of, the virgins <laughs> all the virgins um of this film like i just i think that they did a really good job and i was i was pleasantly surprised with the whole um uh assimilation town i liked how gomez was like down he was like eating the coffee grounds and he's like you gotta try this it's real grit it's gritty (laughs) like i it was just fun like they had the lion um oh and then when she came when she came to be like we can move this wall and this wall and she's just like spray painting he's like oh well done it's perfect you don't have to do anything else and she's like we haven't even started yet he's like no it's perfect the way I will say I'm also not a fan of uh, Thing having that watch, and sometimes it had the eyeball on it. I don't know why. I just I yeah, didn't I like didn't that. understand oh, that. with um with uh, the smart watch with um Thing. Yeah, yeah. Thing. I think yeah, it was like just his, his I think it was just one. It was a play for the times because of like the eye watch that people have, and I think that was just the whole point of I, it. It, it was distracting. Happened. Yeah, it was definitely distracting. And what about all their relatives? I liked how weird they all were, and I really liked the hedge uh, aunt, where she's like, "I just cut my hair," and like the guy looks like a fucking bird, sticks yeah. his head out of the head. He's like, "Hi, hello, <laughs> I'm here." And then what about um, Grandmama's sister, who's supposed to be like the serious one? She's this tall, like she looks like a skeleton. And, and then when they picked her up and they put her on the throne, I was like, "Oh, she's on stilts." She's a wee little thing. Like Yeah. And then one of her eyes was like sunken in or just missing. I <laughs> thought Bette Midler did a really good job with um grandmama. I thought That she was did. Bette Midler? Mm-hmm. I didn't even know. That so um I you know, I was looking up the cast of of this film and there were so many like major people in this. I know um, Chloe Chloe Grace Moretz did Wednesday and I was like, I didn't really like it. She still kind of came off as like a valley girl almost. Well then there was Finn Wolfhard. He I don't know who is, that is in Stranger Things. Um he played He's Pugsley. An he was uh Oh a- ew, that Richie. guy. <laughs> oh yeah there you go. Um, I can't stand that actor. He was terrible in the turning. Like I don't understand why this kid's getting so popular. His acting sucks. I mean, it, I think it's just because he's on that show. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, Oscar that show Isaac sucks. <laughs> you know, we were on the same bandwagon, and then we decided one day, let's just rewatch it. And well, I we watched had only, season one or yeah. half of season season one, and I was like, I can't. We watched like two episodes, and then we weren't feeling it, and then we got through the first season. And then we're like, okay, this is not I definitely say, like, season it's three the was so much better. Thing. It's just um, they hopped on the train of everything's 80s. Let's go back to the 80s. And they fucked up it because they moved it to the 80s. Oh, instead of the I 50s. thought she was still talking about Stranger Things. Oh. <laughs> no, I just had to say oh. it because they put that kid in Stranger Things into it. They moved it to the oh. 80s. So they were also hopping on board with the whole, like, it's in the 80s now. I'm like, you just ruined my favorite movie, Hollywood. Damn it. So I'm going back to it. So you didn't like Oscar Isaac's voice as Gomez. Um, I thought Charlize Theron, she did an okay Morticia, but you could just tell that's Charlize for sure. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, I did. I did. Um, Uncle Fester, I would say this is the first time I've ever liked an Uncle Fester. I've never, yeah, Nick Kroll did it. Um, I don't know who that is either. Did you ever see Big Mouth? No. Oh, God, you know who should have so done his funny. voice? It should have been the guy. Christopher who, Lloyd? Yeah, who did. Nah. Yeah, let him no just sit it. Let, let it him should just have been John down. Lovitz. 
Oh my God. Yes. Oh God. No. John. Oh my God. He would have been amazing. So or they, he would have been an amazing Pugsley. Um, and then the, the main woman, Margot Needler, the one that owned the town, uh -huh. that is Allison Janey or Janney. Really? Oh, I don't know she, that. She's from, she's from, she did mom. She's in mom. She's like, she was in the help. She was the mom in the help. Oh, okay, I know. So um, going back to it, Martin Short was also in this movie. That's who? Uh, Grandpa Frump. Who the heck is Grandpa I don't know, Frump? but there's just a lot of people that were in this film. That... I was I was wondering how they were going to do Snoop Dogg, is it? I thought and it was terrible. I was, I was thinking that they were going to do like, Wait, originally. Snoop Dogg I, was Cousin It. I thought he was going to just be talking speak. in like a lot of for shizzle nizzle. Like yeah. I thought that's what it was going to be. But then it seemed like they just sped Use up. The song? No, it, it seemed like he spoke, like maybe he recorded lines, and then they just sped it up like times five but or times ten. But that's how he always sounds, because it always sounds like that. Yeah, no, I know, like, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm just that's explaining how what I thought he would, he would sound like. See, I just thought maybe it was like they just used his songs during his part, so they... <laughs> Anybody could have done it. And then they so had a if baby. If anybody could have done it, why didn't you like it? Why? No, because like I was, because I feel like it was just all like there was a, this hype with Snoop, right? And I and it would have been nice if the sped up was like, but nobody like, because then you know it's Snoop. The only the only. Word he recognizes for Is shizzle, shizzle. My shizzle. <laughs> I like that he had like a nice little ring on his pinky and he, yeah. was, he was very well cousin it's always he been pimp. Like a pimp. <laughs> he he was in that pimp. car. Yes. I, I, I think I, I don't think he voiced it. I just think they made his character with the car, the whole like what he no, was he wearing. Voiced it. He voiced it. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm gonna have to go back and re-listen to it because well, you can't tell. That's my argument. Is you like you can't, can't tell. tell. You can it's him. you can hear it, but it just sounds like he's like he read his lines and then they just put it through a but speaker. But they have to put it through that because that's how cousin it sounds. I know, but I listen. I'm not arguing how he sounds. I'm explaining the process of what he sounds like. Snoop Dogg read some lines and then they put it. through. I understand, a but I think the line should have fit him. In my opinion, if you don't Do you understand you what he's saying, what too? lines could they possibly read? If, listen, if you can stay speed up, is all my nizzle. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> I don't know. It's a cash grab. <laughs> I mean, I think it would have been cooler if maybe like for the for a split second we see a mouth just so he can smoke a joint. <laughs> that would have been funny, or at least you just hear all of a sudden. It's kind of like in the movie Trolls. There's a troll that's like that speaks kind of like cousin it, and then or doesn't speak at all, and all of a sudden, like something happens, and it goes, "Oh no!" Like it would have been really funny if there was a moment where like cousin it had like a brain meltdown, and then he sounded like normal. Yeah, oh, exactly. I'm just saying, he's smoking a joint. He blows out the smoke, and it forms the face of. Snoop Dogg, and then it like dissipates. <laughs> or there's like a breeze that comes by the one minute, and all of a sudden it's like this, and it's like <laughs> for the first time we you see, see his face. Yes, um, I don't no. know. Wait, no, <laughs> because if, because if it was actually Snoop Dogg, his hair wouldn't be like that. <laughs> Listen, he got us. He got some hair straightener. Okay. Oh my god, he got. <laughs> <laughs> he got it flattened, like you, you know, on um, 90 Day Fiance and Robert when he flattened. <laughs> that was terrible. Imagine that on cousin. <laughs> that was terrible. It was. Ter I'm like, why did they allow? Why did Annie allow that? Well, because her hair was flat iron too, so he was probably like, "Hey, hook me up. We could be twins." <laughs> Now I'm just picturing Robert as cousin it. Yo, red flag. <laughs> no one will know. Shots what we're fired. About. <laughs> I actually did, for the most part, I enjoyed this movie, and I am very surprised because when I like watched the trailer, 
I was immediately annoyed by what they looked like, but then I do remember you telling me it's based off the cartoon. So I was like, okay, just, just try not to look at it like that. But what saved it for me was again, I love the Adams family, not as much as the monsters, but I like how like different they are. And the fact that I'm still amazed at how realistic animation is becoming like yeah. hair movements, trees, grass, the asphalt looking like actual streets. It's insane how well it's become compared to like some of the movies we watched from the 90s or the right. 80s. Very true. <laughs> well, what do we think about Fe uh, Fester the Molester exposing himself to children? <laughs> when he oh, went to go do the, like, when he went when to he the dance. It, and then and like all the all bats. The bats he exposed himself to children. Pastor the molester. Was he not wearing pants or clothes? We I don't, don't know. Yeah, we don't know. But just the idea you have a dude with a trench coat going like this oh. and you don't see anything else. <laughs> I thought of that. And I thought, why does Gomez look like a pig or a pug? And then you have Fester looking like Gonzo with his like floppy dick nose. Like very um, uh, Squidworth nose. Yeah. Very I was like, how are they even remotely related? I like, like when, yeah, I mean, it's, it's weird. But then I think when you start looking at the family, Fester looks more like Grandmama. And um, so maybe Gomez looks more like his dad. Because we've never technically have seen, you know, what the dad looks like. Yeah. I also had a vague thought of what if he cut off his nose? Because the way it looks, it literally could possibly look like he cut his nose off and all you're seeing is the nose cavities. Because I swear that nose it literally looks like a pig. But if you think about it, Pugs Pugsley probably gets his looks from his dad and obviously Wednesday gets her looks from her mom. Except her balloon head. Like God, what happened to that child? <laughs> that could be a good movie where he goes and find like finds his father. Are you my show, daddy? <laughs> and he shows dad. <laughs> Flashes everybody. Um, oh. oh, and I liked when Fester came out with the light bulb in his mouth because that's I think maybe a throwback to the movie. If I, I've never watched the cartoon, or it's the in the TV, TV show. show. Oh, it's okay. in the TV show too. So I thought that, that was that Fester is like the one in the TV show. He's kind of fun, but he's still. I just, I, I think the reason why I've never been a Fester fan is because he just always comes off very molester-like, and I don't Lester like Molester the molester. Exactly, and I'm like, no, go away, especially with Christopher Lloyd. I'm like, mm-mm. It's kind of like how Danny DeVito did a really good job at being the penguin, but it's that like- scares the shit out of me as a kid. It's so gross that you're just like, no. But With when, his, but, like, fingers, like, I'm the penguin. Yeah. Now we're now all of a sudden we're gonna trigger the community with the, the, the lobsters. The oh <laughs> lord! But you know what I mean. Like I know. As a kid, he was terrifying. Like he, he's still. I'm thirty. Dad. I'm thirty six, and I'm still terrified of that freaking and he penguin. Like, but you remember whenever the dirty he diaper from Ninety Day Fiance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so nice. People are so um, nice. And I like, am okay. <laughs> but I have to say, one thing that I thought was fun is the comparison where when Wednesday was in the school and then she was staring down that blonde girl that had similar hair, but like a younger version of um, the assimilation woman. Yeah. And they had that little eye stare down. Morticia had that same eye stare down too. And I thought that was fun. You know, and then just like all the little jokes, like when the town finally realized, oh, we're the monsters, right? Let's atone for being assholes. We'll rebuild your house, blah, blah, blah. They're just breaking stuff. But then, <laughs> but I was just like when she was like, like toilet that. woman, <laughs> what are you going to do, toilet woman? Like, and I honestly can't remember, but did she get held accountable for literally having cameras in all the town's houses. Well, kind not not by authority wise, but she lost her credibility like the networks cuz like her daughter 
like like her daughter Loki hated her so much that she was just ready to expose which her daughter annoyed me I wanted her daughter to just be like thrown off cliff somewhere like I just want to be different oh my god even though I'm going around and first I'm gonna be an asshole to Wednesday and now all of a sudden because this girl is like protecting me I'm gonna be her best friend but like i just want to shock my mom and then i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna like live record her because i hate my mom like i i hated that character <laughs> so much but she in a way she did get held accountable but not really well she lost her her show but as far as by the townspeople no. living in boxes because then all of a sudden she was going door to door oh with her with thing with with because well they well, i like that they created their own real estate and then how they talked about like jams and jellies was like embalming fluid. It's like, and then the one like the 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 one guy that like put a typhoon in to his house. It's like, oh, I love how you decorated with the typhoon. Like it was just fun. Like it it, it was entertaining. That's why I gave it an eight. I, I mean, if they made a second one, I would for sure want to watch it just because yeah. the animation. But I do, I agree with, it was Elmer who said that all they do is focus on Wednesday and how they're different from society and that's the story. It's right. like, I want to see something else. I want to see like them go on safari. Could you imagine? They'd have to have all the sunscreen in the world. So they'd probably burn. Or, but you know what I mean? Like They're nocturnal hunters. Or like the Adams family meets the jungle, like they're lost in the jungle or something, like something where it's just not society hates us because we're different, so we're gonna yeah. teach how differences are great and yay. Or like, story. like <laughs> how, kind of what we were talking about before, like maybe um, uh, since he he never showed up, uh, find out that uh, Gomez he finds out his dad is out there somewhere, and so him and Fester and they probably take Pugsley along with them. They go on a journey to to you know meet his dad, and during that time, maybe you could have a side story with like Wednesday starting to grow up, and her and Morticia are kind of pulling apart, and they got to find a way to kind of come together as well. That isn't her being like, "I'm gonna piss off my mom and wear a beret." Something like <laughs> yeah, something like that, or like they they're they're while while Pugsley starts bonding with his dad, then Morticia and, and Wednesday they make their bond. Well, what closer. about like? 20 years later or 15 years later Wednesday is getting married and or she has her own kids and then she wants to raise her kids differently and Morticia's like no we're gonna do this you know I think God, that would be just picturing the preppy girl <laughs> like she comes in <laughs> like she brings Wednesday brings her daughter over to Morticia and she's all bundled up in pink and bright stuff and rainbows <laughs> and Morticia's just so horrified like how could you do that to your daughter exactly I think that I think that would be a lot more fun if there's a remake it would be like in the future because I know that with um Hotel Transylvania the sequel um the sequel's okay there's like the third one the th now. well there's I think there's three the one on the cruise ship really sucks I only but saw the first one first one's cute I really like the first one but the second one is we we see a clashing of society and like how I want to raise my kid versus how he raised her type of thing um I think that would be interesting for this for sure you know and it'd be hilarious to have like a small little segment where like uh cousin it's child is like going through a teen angst phase and then like shaves like, his, like, like <laughs> yeah, exactly and all of a sudden you're like oh so that's what they look like underneath it just looks like a faceless potato that or like they like they're going like they want to like embrace and do like what if there's like braids or micro braids or um dreadlocks or what if they're like shadows because <laughs> Oh my god. I mean Sno Snoop Snoop, Snoop, Snoop went around as Snoop Lion for a long time, so Snoop Lion. You know? What the fuck was that? Well, he was exploring his Rasta side, so um another cool thing to do with Wednesday is Wednesday has a boyfriend and he's either normal 
and that's what the mom's like ew or it's a freak just like her and it's like we're seeing her love story play out and she's like a teenager and maybe it goes well or i don't know i'm just I mean, thinking I think, I think there's a lot of different play for a sequel but with the low ratings who knows or just do it from Morticia and Gomez. Let's see how they actually met. I want because like I wanted to know more about this town they lived in and why they hated them so much. Where they showed up with like burning and torches. <laughs> I mean, it would be interesting. I do know that in the the TV show, my favorite episode is when um, Gomez meets Morticia. And Morticia looks like Wednesday. She has the braids. She has like the little black and white dress. And he was actually, Gomez was dating Morticia's sister. And Morticia's sister is more of like, like a normal type looking person. But then like, they kind of had like their eyes met and then it was like an entire thing. And then basically he dumps the sister and marries, um, marries uh, Morticia. And then on the wedding day, it was the first time he actually saw her hair fully down. And then that's why we see Wednesday with braids because Wednesday is not a full woman yet. Metaphors, not metaphors. <laughs> the things you know. <laughs> do, 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 do. She hasn't been deflowered yet, so no one gets to see her hair down. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I think it just kind of goes with that whole aspect. But I kind of um, want to watch the old show now because I do fun. remember seeing the clip of like little Wednesday dancing with uh, Lurch. Because yeah. I, I know that's like a famous little clip. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't have anything else to say. Do you guys have anything else to say? I would like to see a second one. And I think everyone should at least try to watch this at least once in their lifetime. Just for the animation alone. Because I've Who did this? Kidding. Was it DreamWorks that did this? I don't know. I think it was. Because it has very similar style as like... Uh, some of the other ones, or was Sony one of the two? Oh, I agree with you, Katie. For what sure. about you, Elmer? You're silent. I I would um, recommend this to people who like animated films in general, or fans of the Adams Family, and I hope we do get a sequel. And I hope it's not uh, the same type of theme. <laughs> they move to a new town, and there are the freaks all over again. <laughs> This time it's the reassimilation. What if they move to a freaky town and and they don't belong because they got they assimilated too much? Oh, like it's like the other or like maybe they're not freaky enough. Like they go back to their home country and yes. then it's like well, you know you've you've been watered down or something. You've something. changed. <laughs> yeah, because like that's one thing that people tell me a lot. But then is that's that I'm not going the back same. to the theme, I guess. Of yeah, you don't fit in, and it's like. Who knows? Maybe that is just their story. I don't know. But <laughs> could you imagine? They go back to their hometown. Your black is just not black enough. It's like a watered down gray. What have they done to you, Morticia? <laughs> do, do I see? Do I see a hint of like beige coming on? It's like she kind of like creeped into like a little bit more color. <laughs> it's like she wears puce. Or like, is there rouge on your cheeks? Your mother would be so horrified. <laughs> your natural color is coming out. Your blood. Because honestly, when she, she got, I think there was a scene where she got, um, uh, she instead of going pale, when she saw, I think it was the hair barrette. Um, and she got color and then she a bad went and choked her, sucked her blood out. Like her blood actually rushed to her face. That actually would be such a cool concept is let's see her like it could be the same kind of storyline, but let's see it flipped on them. Like you're not a you're not freaky enough. Like yeah. what happened to you? And like literally they're the same exact people as they left, but somehow they're different and they're not included. You I don't know. know. Well, take us out, girl. Well, that's all we got for you guys today. Tune in next week for another episode of Saturday Night Movies where friends get together to review the movie of the week. If there is a movie you would like us to review, then comment it below and we will try to make that happen. Other than that, smash that subscribe button, ring that little bell so you get notified of all new content and we will see y'all next week. Bye. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> and that's it. Ha, 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 ha.